Okay, folks. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. Um, welcome to Flight Sim. I'm over here. Uh, what I've tried to uh, do is take a picture or, or video of how to take off and give you a shot using this camera of how to work my the joystick. Um, uh, you're going to notice some things. I don't even know. I'm hoping that you can see the joystick very clearly here. I try to arrange it as best as I can. I don't have any fancy equipment, so this is as best as I can do. So what, <clears throat> where I'm at right now is I'm at Pensacola, and um, I am at the... Um, I am almost at the runway right here is the runway for takeoff and um, it's that's my takeoff runway all the way over there's the tower and uh, I got some clouds but not a whole lot so there's some other another airplane back there some other airplanes I got traffic but that, that's not going to get in my way for taking off. So what I wanted to do is show you how to initiate a taxi to the runway, how to take off, and uh, how to initiate the um, autopilot using my GPS to take me on the heading to where I'm going to go, which in this case is uh, Sebring Regional in Florida. So, what I'm going to do is start by unpausing this, and this is already set, the engine's on, lights are ready, so we're, we'll start this already at this point, and I can actually shuffle some windows here. That's the, um, the tower view, and you can see um, the tower so is my airplane all the way out there. That's the tower shot. Um, also, from a side view, and this is the this is the cabin. Now this is where it's most important. Don't worry about all this on uh, the oil pressure and stuff like that. That'll turn off as soon as I unpause it. So let's unpause it. I'm I'm uh, shifted. Uh, my throttle is down to neutral, so it's the plane's not going to move. So we also may get some communication because the tower's requesting that I let them know when I've arrived at the runway and then request permission for takeoff. So let's go ahead and unpause it. I'm readjusting my altitude and other things because some of the uh, altitude and, the, and uh, things computer usually requests that you uh, reset some things, but that's not pertinent to what I'm doing here. Um, I just don't want to make any mistakes when I'm showing you. This is Eagle One. This is the plane that I've flown all the way across the country. This is Eagle One's last flight. When I get to Sebring, as a, as a kind of a symbolic thing, I'll be um, <clears throat> trading over to the plane that I last flown, which was some seven years ago. So here I am and my communication with the tower um, let's get another shot that's uh, passenger view this is the radio view and the radio stack this is the altimeter my vertical speed and this is uh, my OBS and other navigational equipment and this right here, here's my GPS. My GPS in purple shows me the route that I'll be traveling uh, once I leave the ground. Let's take GPS off of here for now. So you can kind of get a good look at the, uh, at the whole panel. The, I know the mirror is in the way, but I can actually... There you go. Here's my uh, flaps. I won't need them. That's my trim. Here's my lights. Um, my lens, uh, the uh, my strobe, 
my nav lights, and my taxi lights. So it's the only three lights that are on. This heading, this altitude is set for 3,000 feet at a climb of 700 feet per minute. And um, when I uh, take off, um, I will assume a certain attitude, I'll get up to a certain attitude, then hit na um, navigation, and then my, my aircraft will turn in the direction that I need to be going, and you'll see that in the GPS as well. So, uh, let's get on the air traffic control, and uh, it is, um, I'm, I'm not at the runway for takeoff yet, but as soon as I do, then um, they're asking me to hold short, that's runway 17, I'm leaving directly takeoff south, so as soon as I get up to the lip of the, uh, the runway, I'll uh, contact Pensacola Tower for permission to take off. So let's go ahead and do this. As I throttle up, just to get up to the runway. Now the joystick is, is feedback joystick. So as I roll, I'm feeling the road under me. I feel everything. This plane, um, the joystick reacts to the plane's movements. Now there's my line. And I'm going to break. That's my break. And now I'm going to ask permission for takeoff. Request takeoff clearance. Okay, they've given me clearance and I read feedback and I feedback uh, the, the message that they gave me. Now, just like in any other airplane, just like in real world airplane, I have to look around because I want to make sure that I'm not going to run into an, an aircraft. Um, just like in real world, you got to look both ways. So I look both ways, make sure nobody's coming in any direction that can... Uh, interfere with me taxiing onto a, a runway. I don't want to taxi onto a, uh, a runway where somebody else is going to have a problem. So throttle up to get on the runway. Okay, so I have my, my nav lights. Um, let's see if we're slow. Unpause. Okay, you'll see my beacons I use that for daytime. I don't want to switch on my, uh, my, well, these are the strobes. I have a beacon up here, but I only use that at night. And if you notice, I have a, um, well, let me get that taxi line on. I guess the taxi light's already on. Which is hard to see with this one. But I got my taxi light on. Anyway, I got clearance. So uh, let's um, let's get on the runway. This is a little slow because of the graphics. I, I actually have some have some high graphics on here. So let's um, get onto the runway. Real slow. Now we're on an airplane here that really loves to fly. Um, there's, there's hardly anything really to stop this plane from wanting to get off the ground. It's 
a large runway, little airplane. And I'll show you what I mean about um, this plane wanting to get off the ground here in a second here. Okay, we're going to go for takeoff. Let me get inside the plane. I don't like to see the outside of my plane when I fly. I like to be in the cockpit. I'm, I'm very instrument crazy about that. So there's our, there's our appearance. There's where we're going. So what I'm going to do is as I speed up the aircraft, I'm going to hold, not even hold the joystick. I'm going to actually put my hand behind the joystick. You're going to see that the joystick is going to react to the airplane. The joystick's going to want to pull back because it's going to want to take off. I can't let the joystick do that because it'll take off almost uh, vertical. So I'm trying to slow down. I, that's why you have to hold the joystick and pull up slowly. But i rather show you how reactive this joystick really is. So now we're going to go ahead and take off. Full throttle. And full throttle. And I want you to see this joystick wants to fly. i got to hold it straight because I'm driving the airplane more likely now. So there you go. And up we go. And the joystick wants to climb, joystick wants to climb. I'm not going to let it climb, I'm just going to keep it right about there. You want to look at what's going on outside. You'll see I'm pretty much off track, but that's okay. It's the... Trying to hold it because it really wants to wobble a lot. There's the uh, the water of the Gulf. It's all Panama City. Now, because of the, uh, I had to set some of the graphics low, so some of the more outstanding graphics that normally you'd see is not on here. So what I'm going to do now is go back into the airplane. and then set my navigation, which will then in turn turn my airplane in the direction the GPS has set for it. So here we go, and if you notice, there's autopilot, heading, and navigation. So now it's navigating, and now she wants to turn. There she goes, there she goes, turning where I want her to go. I was done, all done through computer. The GPS is working for me. And we're climbing to um, 3,000 feet. And she'll now I'm going to uh, switch over okay. so I don't have IFR flight so that's what I'm going to do but I don't have time to show you how that works here because of the camera time so that's how you take off, and that's how you set your guidance to take you on the right path. So what I'll do is the next time I uh, talk to you guys again, 
Let's see if I can show you how to uh, land this thing. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.